Hey everybody, welcome back to this happy, happy show. I'm David Rosengarten filling in for Sarah Moulton and with me is Master Baker, Rose Levy Berenbaum, and I'm so happy to be standing next to her. And we are making a delicious lemon pound cake for your Easter table. And you could, it's fine with me if you make it any other time of the year as well. So you have now added the rest of the egg to that yes, batter. Yes, and mm. it's beaten, see it's really nice smooth texture mm. and we have a prepared pan that has a piece of parchment at the bottom mm. so that way we can be sure it will come out in one nice piece. Parchment paper mm. on the bottom. Okay now yeah. before you add it let's just take a scoop again so we can see what that texture is like. See it's completely oh, yeah. smooth like yeah. a mayonnaise. Like a mayonnaise. Filled with poppy seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with poppy seeds. Sounds like something in Shakespeare. <laughs> Drows with the fume of poppies. You know it does rather. Mm. And then it goes into the pan. Mm. And the sides are, see, it's also greased and floured or sprayed with one of those grease and flour products. Oh. Which makes it really easy. The thing out of a can that goes But not just okay. the vegetable shortening because it really needs flour to come out completely. Although, you know, since you have the parchment at the bottom, you can always reach into the sides with a little spatula after it's baked and release them so it okay. comes out looking so nice. So you've got the spray on the side, but you've also got a little dusting of flour over oh, yeah. the spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, how are you getting this so that it's now? I, I notice that it's not very even there on the top. Doesn't matter because Doesn't as matter. soon as it starts heating, it will melt and smoothen out completely. I see. So you don't have to do that yourself. You just let nature take its course. Now you Isn't want that me to nice that some things take care of. Yeah, themselves? exactly. Now you want me to put this in the oven. I'm looking yep, for a towel here. 350 degree oven. Most things bake at that temperature. <clears throat> very so. nice. That's another. Mm -hmm little uh, benefit of nature there, 350 degree oven. And toward oven. the middle of the oven is the towards best the middle. for it. Yeah, perfect. Meaning uh, middle in well, all ways. Well, not too high, not too low, yeah. Got it. So air can circulate around it. Okay. Because the top of the oven is hotter, the bottom is not as hot, and so that's why you like to put it somewhere in the middle. Right, what if I were doing this in a convection oven? How would that change things? Well, that's a good question, David, because Thank convection... <laughs> I like convection best for pastry, not for cakes. But with cakes, as long as you turn it down by 25 degrees, it pretty well bakes the same. Okay. And another trick is getting a beautiful split in the middle because you are going to get oh, a split. Oh yeah, tell us about that split. I'm taking this out of the oven. That has cooked. How long did you say that has to cook? About 55 minutes. About 55 minutes. The way you can test if it's done is that I put a wooden ske skewer in the middle mm -hmm. because this cake can test done everywhere else and still be a little under, underdone in the middle. And if it's underdone, even when you press it and it bounces back, yeah. it'll be pasty all throughout the middle. I so love, don't underbake. I love the things that you know about baking. I mean, you're like this all I think about, you know? scientist, magician, mm -hmm. artist. You know all the things about color and touch and texture. When you it's do great. this day in day out for a long time, you <laughs> get all yeah. these little tips you know, going. People sometimes say that that baking is very much a science and kind of a, a clinical thing. Mm -hmm. But when I bake with you, I don't feel that it is. I feel it's that fun. it's fun too. But mm. you're also touching and you're also observing moment to moment. Mm. And that's one of the things I like about making a sauce. I'm like tasting speaking as we go which. along. But, oh, speaking of which, you're going to do a little uh, lemon, what do you call this, a lemon glaze? Or yeah, it's, a, I actually could think of it as a lemonade because it's pure lemon juice and sugar. All right, and so how much lemon juice went on. in there? Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, um, we're um, getting ahead of ourselves here. How did um, how did how do you oh, get that attractive oh, split down the middle of the uh, the pound cake? Thank you. I will all will be revealed as soon as I start heating this thing. Okay. Because um, we need something to stir. All right, I'll, I'll find you something. Tell us about the split in the I pound cake. I do not cake. want to use a knife. You're right. There you <laughs> <Perfect>. go. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, this is simple because we just want to get it very hot so that the hot cake will absorb the syrup. Okay. And the way you get the split is part way through the baking at about 25 minutes. When it's just about to form itself, you open the oven and quickly, with a knife, run it down the, c the center. Mm. Not too deeply. How deep just, in? No, very hardly. Just make the mark. With a, just a knife like this, right? Well, I would use a sharp... A sharp knife. You know, cutting knife. Can, okay. not a, but it doesn't even matter, really. And if I were going to use one like this, I probably would end up using um, a little bit of grease to make sure that it doesn't stick in the batter. Okay. How deep in did you say to go? Hardly. Just, hardly. just make a, a mark. And you don't do it from end to end. You just do it like in no, the middle here. Just about there because that's as far as it would go on its own. Okay. And if you don't do it, it's like in surgery. If you were to make a hole, uh, an incision in somebody and you didn't sew it up, it would heal in a ragged way. This is the same sort of thing. You decide where the cut's going to be and how clean. Can and I then ask, it opens up cleanly. Can I ask you a very fundamental question about mm -hmm. that? Why are you doing that? <laughs> is it just for Because it's going to happen anyway. Gonna... And you, this is a cake that's so beautiful by itself that you're not going to want to put any frosting or anything to hide it. So you want it to look as nice as it can. Oh, I see. Huh? So if you weren't controlling this split in the cake, it, it might like do something jagged... ugly. <laughs> and you well, want it to be less pretty. Attractive. It will less never attractive. Less attractive. <laughs> okay. No such I, thing as ugly I stand dessert. corrected, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so what we're doing here is we've got 
uh, da, 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 how much? Stir sugar and lemon juice While until dissolved. While you're finding that, I I've will just, tell you. Okay, I just want to make sure that we know the um, proportions there. It was yeah. one quarter cup plus two tablespoons of sugar and one mm -hmm. quarter cup of lemon juice freshly squeezed. Because mm -hmm. it needs a little more sugar than lemon juice to balance the acidity, but this still is a very, very nice tart effect. Now and you're taking about half of that, right? Exactly. And I'm taking it. about half. And this is while it's still piping hot, I made holes so it will absorb even better. And then I'll let it sit in the pan for 10 minutes or so, because that way it will hold its shape nicely. Then I'll invert it and glaze the rest of it. And then we'll go on. We'll go and back to that. And then we glaze further. Sorry. Meanwhile, I think there's uh, blueberry glaze to be made. That's there's right. glaze of plenty in this, in this dish. All right, so tell us what you do with the blueberries. Okay, this is the way I like to make a blueberry sauce without actually destroying the blueberries because they don't lose their shape and cook. Blueberries are most delicious, I think, when they're not... Um, right. 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 <laughs> when they're not... We, we understand. <laughs> we don't even have to say it. We understand. Okay. So, we're putting sugar. And that's and, a quarter cup of sugar. Yeah. And arrowroot. Arrowroot. Now, not cornstarch. Cornstarch. But, yep. but Why do you prefer root, arrowroot? Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay. I just, arrowroot gives them a wonderful sparkle. Rose, I'm just throwing them up there and you just like swat them out of the park. Go ahead. <laughs> I feel Why like we're like in arrowroot? an athletic event somehow. Well, arrowroot gives sparkle so that not only do you get the thickening, but you also get a beautiful sheen. And another thing is that arrowroot, if you actually could do me a favor and turn this turn on it while on? I do it, sure. things would happen really fast. Gladly. Thank what, you. what kind of heat do you want? High. High. That high? That's <coughs> Pretty high. I, how much arrowroot was in there? Um, you tell me. Two teaspoons. I, I will tell you. Whatever was in <laughs> the bowl. Do you expect me to memorize all two this? Two I know exactly how that is. Two teaspoons mm -hmm. of arrowroot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a quarter cup of sugar. You've got yeah, and a little bit of lemon juice too. And a little lemon juice. Flavor. And some water. And the beauty of arrowroot is that it One thickens. One teaspoon lemon juice. Before it comes to the boil. Arrowroot does that. Mm -hmm. Cornstarch wouldn't do that. Right. You have to boil Corn it. Cornstarch, you actually boil it for at least thirty seconds it's right. come to a full ro rolling boil. If you don't do that, then you get a cloudy sauce. Okay. See, I wanted you to do high simply because that way it will happen qu more quickly. You want high? Because, you got yeah, high. thank you. Okay. And you can see that the minute it starts thickening, it will get clear. See, right now it's still cloudy. You know what? Oh, we're really close. Let me help you. <laughs> no, that's You may sound be slowing is, it down. <laughs> yeah, that oh. sound is. <clears throat> okay. It's grating. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes so you defeat your purpose by whisking something too quickly because you end up cooling it instead of, you know, allowing right. it to heat. But when you do things on high, you have to be careful because if you don't stir, then it will lump. Right. So. And you are just pre-boil here, and I see that it is starting to thicken. See, yeah. Yeah. Um, and just as soon as that happens, we're going to pour it over the berries. Oh, they don't even and, go in the pan. Well, the, well, the oh, berries, look how they're okay. thickening right now, just before the boil. As a matter of fact, yeah. Uh, can we you can do this with this other off. berries as well? Turn this off. Here we go. Off. No, see, berries, blueberries have a tough outer skin. Ah, What's going to happen? Well, like you'll see in a second. All right, we'll put it in the pan. Me? Either this into the berries or this or the berries into the pan. You or me what? Tough outer <laughs> skin. <laughs> no, maybe, uh, maybe me. No, you're but tender. <laughs> <laughs> I was being polite. So, see how it makes them turn a bright, bright blue, that but it doesn't very... cook them. Right. And that way you have the best. You have a sauce without having the berries break down. What a great looking thing. And of course, you're going to let great. those cool. Yeah, let it cool and they'll hold together but not thickly. And the, you won't lose a lot of the, the sauce, but a little of it will drip out. And that's oh, it. I see. And what you're looking Simple. for is just a little glaze to cling to the berries. Exactly. Because the otherwise excess it's will hard to get it on the fork, you know? Is this we'll like a rose right thing? You can, this is not like a traditional thing. Tonight, you're right. show us all these special rose things as we go along because there are a million of them. Next, we're making a special rose thing a cordon rose cheesecake. It's good stuff. You're not going to want to miss it. Come back. Mm -hmm.